This is our stainless steel corner drum lifter. It's designed to lift drums from pallets or buns, but what's unique about it is that it lifts the drum from the corner. So you see we have legs that are at 90 degrees to one another, so we can approach this square pallet on the corner. If we needed to take this green drum, we'd come around this side and the legs would straddle the corner of the pallet. We can also lift drum from Euro pallets, so if we have a 800 by 1200 pallet, we can come to the narrow end and lift drum from there. These drums are full of water, so around 200 kilos per drum. Bring the unit in. The unit is rated to 350 kilograms, so if we've got a, a dense material, we can handle a high load with this unit. We've got a gripper here, which needs to connect to the lip of the drum. What we want to do is we bring the unit in. We want the gripper to be slightly above the top of the drum. We push the unit forward and then using our handle here, we twist this and that lowers the gripper down. So it lowers down. I can see from here or through our guard here that the catch is engaged. And what I'm looking for is that the toggle, this piece here, we want that to be under the lip of the drum. And then our top hook is going down inside the lid. We can lift the drum with the lid on or the lid off. Then pump our handle. So it's a manual hydraulic unit. So our handle which is used for pushing and pulling the unit can be used as a tiller to steer the machine. But it's also our pump handle to lift the drums. So it's a multi-purpose handle. I'll pull the unit back. Just show you how the unit looks. Maneuverability, we have fixed wheels on the front and then we have casters at the back to allow us to turn on the spot or turn in tight spaces. I'll bring the unit forward. We'll lower the drum down. So again, our black handle is for lowering. So it's a lowering handle or lowering valve. We twist that, bring the drum down. And then once the weight's off our gripper, with one finger I can simply lift the top hook, pull the unit backwards, and we're disconnected. We'll now adjust the settings and pick up another drum. The next drum we're going to lift is a plastic drum with a larger lid design. The catch on these units are designed to be very universal and to handle the majority of drums found on the market. First adjustment we're going to make is to the height of the gripper itself. Now we can move this down on our rack and you see we have lots of different hook positions. To move it down we hold the catch with one hand at the bottom and we remove the locking pin. We then unhook the catch from the slot, move it down and then hook it back in to these hooks. This is now set for a short drum. So what it means is as we lift we're getting the full stroke or the full travel of the machine. Because the drum we're going to lift is a 220 litre Mauser, so it's a very tall drum, we're going to move this back up, so we unhook it, bring it up and slot it in. Once we're happy with our position, I'm going to refit our locking pin. So we've set the height, now we're going to adjust the top hook. So this is a top hook and this is a bottom hook or the toggle. The general principle is that the top hook should be set as far back as possible depending on the drum you're handling. I know that for this drum we're handling we want to move the top hook forward and in the instruction manual you'll find the different settings we recommend for different drums. So to move the top hook forward we hold it with one hand, we remove the locking pin, so there's just two pins in total and the top hook is completely removed now. We can then choose one of these holes to slot it into. So we're going to put it in the front hole and refit our pin. We've now moved this forward, ready for the Mauser drum. Final thing we'll show you is the support foot or kick plate at the bottom. For metal or steel drums, we want this folded out so the drum's nice and straight. If we're handling plastic drums, often we want to tilt this up out of the way this prevents putting too much pressure on the drum 
Uh, so we fold it up for the plastic drums. So with our cat jaw set up correctly, we're going to lift the Mauser drum. So we bring the unit again, approaching the corner of a pallet. We're already at the right height here, but we want the catch to be above the drum and then we lower down onto it. So bring the unit forward, catch nice and central with the middle of the drum and then lower down. From here I can see the toggle I'm just there. I'll just show you for example, the toggle's just there below, so it's just below this lip here. So visually I want to check that before we lift. I'm definitely happy, so we pump our handle. With the handle, we've got a nice amount of travel, so we don't want to do small pumps like this, just because it takes longer. We want to stand straight and use the full range of motion. This will get us the lift in the quickest amount of time. And pull the unit back. With this model, if you're handling a lot of drums, we can replace the manual lift system for an electric system. So simply you'd be pushing a button to lift the drum and pushing another button to lower it down. We also offer a weighing system. So if you wanted to weigh the drum, we can weigh it and have a readout that tells you the exact weight. Once we've reached our destination, again, lowering handle, lowering down to a floor. And again, we just want to lower enough that the catch is unloaded. So I can see we've taken off the weight of the catch. Once the weight's off, we can lift our top hook, pull the unit back. If we lower down too far, this top hook will so sort of sit on the top and we just need to lift the, uh, the carriage very slightly just so we can remove the top hook. So it's important we have no weight on that when we're, when we're removing it. <laughs> 